In ION, you can really be anything. There are really so many cool options for tweaking your look, your play style, and your stats. Everything from combat to customization is and can be personalized. It's the most connected I've ever felt to any MMO. pretty fast paced in terms of combat. We've got lots of uh, chain skills and combo moves that you know really puts the user uh, into this visceral combat that isn't really normal with uh, MMOs. You'll hit one spell and then it'll, it'll go to the next one and it'll pop up right there in, in the center picture. You'll also have all these reactive skills based off of if the enemy gets knocked down. If you block something then you can shield bash them back. We really try to redefine a new type of gameplay in MMOs. We have PvPVE, which is player versus player versus environment. <laughs> so it's kind of like everything married into one experience. And it's a continuum that really you're you are not strictly PvPing in an arena, and nor are you strictly PvEing in a dungeon. We give players the choice of PvP and PvE so that they're not like you know, put down the same path of once they choose PvE or PvP, they have to stay with it. Um, it's this melding. I'm actually getting killed by a boar here, so hold on. When you first go in, you of course pick the faction you're gonna, you're gonna fight for. And then the next thing you do is pick which class you're going to play. And these four classes are the, the warrior, the priest, the scout, and the mage. From there, you can kind of specialize once you get to level 10 and you earn your wings and become a deva. They'll also have the ability to choose between two more classes at that point. If you're a warrior, you'll be able to choose between a gladiator or a templar. Gladiator will be a little bit more offensive. Um, it'll kind of be the master of arms. I've always been a melee kind of, kind of person in the MMOs I play, so I really like the gladiator class because you can use two-handed weapons, one-handed, one-handed with a shield, you know, two uh, one-handed weapons. Templars basically hold the front line, so at their core they are the tank of the group and they do that while shouting chants to protect and heal their allies. The scout can become either a ranger or an assassin. If you hear the word assassin, think ninja. So stealth, um, they use poison tip daggers, and they're all about speed, stealth, and awareness. Rangers tend to work alone or in a specialized group and they, they will really be the ones that are going to cover their tanks that are moving forward. They not only have the ability to shoot you from afar, but you may never ever get the chance to get close enough to even get one hit in. From the priest you've got a chanter or a cleric. The cleric is incredibly diverse when it comes to healing and inflicting damage on their opponents. Most importantly, they can bring people back from the dead. The chanter is going to be a little bit different. They're actually going to have these mantras that they keep up to keep the group buffed and their stats all jacked up. The mage will choose between a sorcerer or a spirit master. They're going to have the sorcerer, which is you know, direct damage, um, area effects spells, you know, just lots of damage instantly. I like feeling like I'm doing a lot of damage. So I think one of my favorite characters is a sorcerer. That's why I've always enjoyed those. The spirit master will actually be able to uh, conjure up a different spirit, you know, fire, water, earth, so it'll be uh, eight total classes. They do fill those typical roles, but there are also ways that you can change that a little bit so that you can have a unique cleric or a unique warrior that's not necessarily the same warrior that everybody else has. One of the coolest aspects is just the ability to put your armor together in ways you want to put it together, both statistically and visually. We have a system that allows you to change your item with one stats to look like another item. As long as you own both, you can kind of mesh them, take the best of both, the looks and the stats. You're going to be able to create a really unique persona in the game with mana stones, with color dyes, and with the stigma system. You, you will rarely ever find anyone that looks exactly like you in the world. That's something that um, the development team took really seriously was customizing your character and customizing your gameplay. Basically, there's 22 default faces that you choose from. I know of some people who have made characters look almost exactly like themselves or a celebrity that they want to look like. It really is endless combination. If you run past anyone that looks like you, then you just went with the default options because there's no other way. 